Hello friends, this is Fiction Domain. How are you all? So we are back with an interesting movie on what if Naruto become a king of Powerpuff Girls Sea World. But before we start, if you want more stuff like this, then be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if possible share this video with your friends. Now let's start the story. Naruto and Yamato stood staring down Kakuzu while Kakashi, Ino, and Chaoji all rested and Sakura and Sai went to assist Shikamaru. Naruto had just finished his first attempt at the race in Shuriken and was now forming his second one before he charged for his first real victim of his brand new technique, but Kakuzu jumped over the clones and impaled him with a tentacle as he turned into a cloud of smoke and Naruto and two clones were behind Kakuzu forming a third race in Shuriken to kill the Akatsuki member. As Naruto's clones turned to smoke the technique began turning red making Ino and Chaoji look at Naruto as if he was turning into a hero right before their eyes. But Kakashi and Yamato were both freaking out as they saw Naruto implant the technique into Kakuzu and Naruto started to release some of the demon chakra that was sealed within him as the Rasen Shuriken turned into a giant red sphere that absorbed Naruto into it and the other ninja began to freak out when the technique was over. For there in the crater sat the left half of a corpse that they knew belonged to Kakuzu and they didn't see Naruto anywhere. They all began to panic and cry when they told Sakura that her entire team either left or was dead, and she just became limp and fell into Kakashi and didn't stop crying, not even in her sleep, as Team 10 knew how it felt to lose a close friend who helped you become stronger, since the reason for that mission was for Shikamaru to get revenge for Asuma's death. Sakura wouldn't eat or drink anything, as well they returned to the village and headed for the Hokage's tower to hand their reports in with the corpse of Kakuzu, or what was left of it, and then Kakashi almost pissed himself as he walked over to Tsunade to tell her about Naruto when she asked about him. Tsunade saw the knuckle had actually killed him without any trouble. Wow, who would have thought? Unknown to them there was a certain dark-haired girl with pale eyes listening outside the door, admiring her crush some more for his rising strength that only ever moved up and had a smile on her face till she listened to the rest of their conversation. Tsunade knew about Hinata but said nothing because she knew about the girl having a crush on the boy she saw as the younger brother she missed dearly, as well as her boyfriend she loved without restraint, but she realized she screwed up by allowing her to listen when Kakashi finished. Realizing that the teams that were there didn't know about her from the grief of losing Naruto and the silent sobs that you didn't know about unless you saw Sakura's face while she slept, which you couldn't cause she was on Chaoji's back asleep when Kakashi answered Tsunade about where Naruto was so she could check on him. Kakashi when Naruto used his new technique, the chakra of the Kaiubi got out and infected the technique Tsunade became furious as Kakashi continued without her being able to yell at him for talking freely about the Kaiubi Naruto was sucked into the technique and when the smoke cleared, we could only find half of Kakuzu and nothing else and though we looked as much as we could. We only found shreds of his clothing which were also with the corpse here is where Shikamaru stepped in. Hey, there is no facts to him being alive, all we know is that if he is alive, we can assume he is in one piece, but we will not be able to find him, considering we had the area searched and Naruto was drawn into it rather than blown away, so we have no choice but to assume that he was completely disintegrated by his own attack, they all heard something fall outside the room as a female just ran away. Crying her heart out back to her home to never leave it again, or at least that's what she told anyone who tried to talk to her then. Tsunade well, in one month time we shall hold his funeral, that will give Shikamaru enough time to get a team and go search for him, and if he fails, it should be enough for Naruto to return on his own, hopefully he comes back. Being cheered up by this Shikamaru knew exactly who to tell as he raced to the Hyuga Manor to recruit two people for his team with Chaoji and Inohad on his trail, while Sai and Sakura went to resupply for the mission, and Kakashi also went home to rest and replenish, as Tsunade sat there hoping she was right about Naruto. But Shikamaru. As he ran into the guards of the Hyuga Manor and quickly explained his reasons he was led to Hinata's room where Hiyashi, Niji, and Hanabi stood trying to get Hinata to come out as Shikamaru stepped to the door to speak. Hinata, I require you presence for a mission you would kill to go on, Hinata replied with slamming the door outward, then shut it quickly in an attempt to ram it into Shikamaru, only to nail Niji in the face as he fell over barely conscious with a red mark down the middle of his face as he wailed something about a damn dropout who can't restrain herself from being a bitch about something stupid we. Require yours and Niji's help in a rescue mission to find Naruto. That got the all the Hyuga's attention as Hanabi blurted out you mean that guy who Hinata stalks and that keeps shouting he's gonna become Hokage. Shikamaru nodded and asked Hinata stalks him. Niji stood up and was about to speak only to be impaled by a door once again by Hinata, who was now out of her room with all her equipment ready when do we leave. Niji was now unconscious as Shikamaru spoke when my entire team is replenished and prepared, Kakashi is resting which I also need rest, but I'm gonna form my team before I do, and if we have a user of the Byakugan, it will be simpler to hunt him down, I shall also be asking Shino and Kiba for their tracking skills to aid us. 
Niji, now standing behind Hiashi with two vertical red marks on his face, spoke if it is to rescue Naruto I shall join, and I am 100% sure that Lee will jump at the mention of rescue, and when you tell him that Naruto is the one who needs to be rescued, there will be no stopping him from joining, but Tenten is out on another mission with her parents, so she will be unable to assist us. Shikamaru so, I guess the team will be me, Chouji, Ino, Kakashi, Sakura, Sai, Hinata, Niji, and Lee for sure, now we gotta go ask Shino and Kiba. Hinata Shikamaru, I will go ask them, you go get some rest. Shikamaru alright, have fun, and thank you. As Team 10 went to get some rest Hinata went to the training grounds where she was supposed to be half an hour ago, so she could tell Kiba and Shino about the mission. Kiba. Shino. As the two turned they saw Hinata yelling at them, and they instantly became afraid we have a mission, and it is to rescue Narutokan. So get your asses ready Kiba, and Shino trembled as Akamaru whimpered, never before have they ever seen Hinata pissed off let alone swear, not wishing for death, they both complied and ran to get ready, although Kiba spoke before leaving. We would have gone to get ready for the mission even if you didn't yell at us or ordered us to do it, he is one of our friends too you know. Hinata I'm sorry Kibakin. She know it's alright Hinata, we both know you love him, but we care for him too, there is no need to think we would turn our backs on him, even if we weren't invited to go on the mission, we would go anyways. This cheered Hinata up as she went to go home and rest for the following day. Shikamaru went to tell Kurunai about the mission and about Naruto, and how he got revenge for Asuma, and they went through that whole touching scene like in the anime, so don't worry about if Shikamaru forgot about Kurunai and her baby, cause he didn't. Now to the knucklehead. Naruto awoke in a crater that he assumed he created, but also almost lost his lunch when he saw that there was a corpse that appeared to be sliced completely in half, and realized he did that to him. Don't worry kid, that happened to him when the grand total of your power gets forced to mixed with my power, what happened was you used too much of your chakra, and mine was forced to make up for what you needed, and the instant mix of power backfired on you, and it sent us somewhere else, I think your attack sent us flying, although without being released I cannot say where. So you have no clue where we are. Damn it, and I was hoping you would know cause I have no clue either. We are lost, and there is no telling where we are, so go find someone and ask for directions already. Alright. With that Naruto stopped talking with the Kaiubi and went to look for people, but freaked out when he saw a black light hit him and sent him flying off the cliff and down to the forest below, as the trees broke his fall he fell to the ground alive but unconscious. Who knows how long later. Naruto woke up and stood stretching and yawning, looking around he assumes he was dreaming the whole being hit by a dark light and walked to a nearby stream where he washed himself up, he reached around and grabbed something soft and pulled it to wipe his face off, till he looked at what he grabbed. He looked at what appeared to be a fox tail and followed it to see who it belonged to only to notice it was his, but what freaked him out was the fact that he saw eight other tails with it, that means there are nine, and then he went silent for around half a minute before what? He then felt his held and noticed he had two fox ears coming from the top of his head, instead of him having his normal ears, and then he noticed his claws when he scratched his head and it hurt, but he didn't notice his canine teeth, till he bit his tongue ow. By now several people heard him and got curious about it, but didn't go out of fear of what was happening, well everyone except three young middle school girls who flew towards noise at astounding speeds, and met with what they thought was a boy in a costume, as the one in green spoke hey, are you like that one old guy who made a ruckus, till we showed up just to get our autographs. At this Naruto flinched as he began to panic as he turned around to look at his captors, as he just spoke quickly I am no demon, and as he finished scaring the girls he ran faster than anything the girls have ever seen, as the girls attempted to catch up by flying, and noticed he was on all fours, as the blue one yelled at him, hoping he could hear we just wanna help. Naruto turned his head slightly and noticed they were flying you will never trick me, alls any of you want is me dead. Unless you're with the Akatsuki of course, but they both led to a dead me. As he continued to run the red one decided to capture him the easy way by throwing her yo-yo at him, and thanks to Naruto's fear of humiliation and confusion of his location, he was easily caught by the toy, and now he spoke I have lost all dignity and pride, he just became all teary, and noticed the girl in blue bent down in front of him. We don't want to hurt you, we just want to help you return to the way you were before you turned into a monster. That ticked something in Naruto's head I am not a damn monster, the three girls panicked as Naruto just ripped out of the binds with brute force, although he met with a malady just grabbed it and crushed it within his single hand, and then the green one freaked out and crawled backwards away from him as the blue one stepped forward. Please calm down. If you lose your temper you why. She was cut off by a claw headed for her as she was pulled out of the way by a yo-yo. Naruto I am not gonna just roll over and let you kill me, I am not stupid enough to fall for your tricks, you are gonna wait till I let my guard down, then strike me down and take the Kaiubi out of me, then leave me for dead and use the Kaiubi's power to take over the world, I will keep you from destroying me and everyone I love, even if I have to kill myself. 
And with that Naruto took off again as they three girls sat there beaten by what they assumed was a troubled boy who was turned into a fox. Blossom Hay, Buttercup, head back to report this to the professor while me and Bubbles go on ahead and try to talk some sense into him. Buttercup why me? Blossom because, he seems to be able to withstand your hammer, and you also lose your temper way too easily, Bubbles is gonna try to talk to him as I follow to try and bind him if it gets too out of hand and you can catch up with us when you finish. Buttercup alright and with that Buttercup was heading back to the lab. Meanwhile back in the crater where Naruto fists started. Alright Fox, what the fuck happened? It appears that our DNA has fused, sadly it has also given you two abilities that you didn't have before, I assume it was caused by the black light, the fall might have helped a bit too. Did you say I have two new abilities? What are they? The first would be the ability to mold demon chakra instead of normal chakra. So I'm a demon. No, you are actually a half demon, but you also have full access to my powers. So those are my new abilities. Actually that was only one, the second one is more of a miracle, but nevertheless you now have access to something that you didn't before. Naruto had to know and he began to beg please stop stalling and tell me already. It gave you access to. Your brain. Naruto stood for a second what do you mean? You are now actually using your brain. I really need you to be more serious Kaiubi. Well you walked right in. Kaiubi stopped for a sec as realization hit him holy shit. I am thinking more like you. I have been sealed in you for almost 16 years and I have stayed sane, but now, all that sanity is out the window Naruto sat there listening to the Kaiubi cry as he began to cower and return to the outside world only to run into something he didn't want to. Hey the blue girl from before can we talk? Naruto why would you want to talk to a monster? Blue cause I don't think you are a monster Naruto looked at her alls we want to do is take you to our lab and turn you back to the way you were before you turned into that. Naruto it will fail, I have fused with a demon thanks to a black light and now we are bound in more ways than before Naruto didn't hide the fact that he didn't understand what he said huh? How did I know that? My name is Bubbles, is it alright if we help you? Naruto was thinking we may be able to help you separate from the demon you fused with. Naruto you won't be able to, but who was your friends? And why do you use toys to fight? Blossom chose now to sit next to him and explain who they were and what they did, which Naruto found out he was no longer in his own world, and then when he mulled over this new information, he told them about himself, not seeing a reason to lie about anything. And about halfway through Buttercup came up behind them and told them that the professor was preparing the beam to return Naruto, as she found out back to normal, and the three picked Naruto up and took him to the lab. Back to Konoha. Shikamaru stood there 10.30 am looking over his team, Kakashi, Hinata, Niji, Chaoji, Ino, Sakura, Lee, Shino, Kiba with Akamaru, Sai, Yamato, and then Guy, and Aruka also showed up to join after finding out about it. Shikamaru alright everyone, it's time to go hunt Naruto down, and he was cut off by Hinata. We are gonna drag his ass back here, even if he has all four limbs broken, he is gonna be dragged. Sakura? I'm gonna assume that she is mad at him. Kiba a bit, just yesterday she thought he was dead, and now she has as much spirit as he does, as if he was gonna hunt down Sasuke. Sakura as long as she doesn't turn into him I will be fine with it. You know I prefer her to not talk about him as they asked why Hinata blushed well she knows so much about him, and she was talking to me earlier when I went to cheer her up, and I swear she can make anyone fall in love with him, everyone stared at her, she sees Naruto like we saw Sasuke, and when I talked with her, she made me want to give Naruto a chance with me. Hinata didn't know if she should blush or try to kill her, but almost everyone looked at Hinata in a new light, as Kiba spoke I wonder if she can get a girl to fall in love with me. The other guys almost nodded as Niji spoke up. Well she spends time to get to know you and sees only good points even if it is a flaw, so I don't doubt it Kiba. Unknown to them Sasuke was eavesdropping, although he didn't care about the whole Hinata's special ability thing, but he did know that now was his chance to obtain his Manjeku Sharingan, or at least that's what he told himself, Sasuke jumped from the tree and retreated from the village hidden in the leaves, and started his own search for the knucklehead. As Shikamaru and his team of hunters finished their chat they began to go back to where they left Naruto, and they didn't run into any trouble on their way to the Nara's forest area, it was fast cause Shikamaru said that he killed Hayden and buried his ass in the explosion there, and I will assume it isn't all that far from the village, and what they saw nearly gave them a heart attack. Oh my god. What did they see? What will Naruto do now? Honestly that's for me to know and you to find out, cause from now on you decide on if I keep going or not. Well I shall tell you something interesting, Naruto had an epiphany while he waited for the Powerpuff Girls to find him, and what is that epiphany? Who knows? Just give the go ahead to put the next chapter up. Also I'm thinking of a one shot for Hinata, although it might not be just a one shot. But Naruto. As the Powerpuff Girls flew Naruto over to the lab, Naruto was thinking over his plan that he and the Kaiubi had formed, or at least, that's what he called it, Naruto said it was just him being crazy. Flashback. 
Alright kid, listen to me, I have some advice, these three are not as trustworthy as they let on, they have a lot of power, and I can sense it from here. I actually sensed it too, and don't worry, they won't catch me off guard, I do need to get to a location where I can get something to eat though, I am starving. Well you actually thought this through, you stole my intelligence, give it back damn it. Actually, I like being smart, you can keep thinking stupid things, and thanks to you I have developed theories and learned new techniques without even trying. Those are all my secret techniques damn it. Give them back. Listen, you always whine about me being too weak, now I shall be the strongest shinobi the world has ever seen. Quite being a smart ass you little bastard. You do realize you have all your intelligence right? I just have access to it and you have become more like me, and you can blame the black light. Kaiubi mumbled a bit as Naruto left his mindscape to rejoin the living, or unsealed as he and Kaiubi have argued about as well. Bubbles noticed Naruto mumbling something about a damn fox, and decided to speak I love foxes, they're so cute and furry, and they have cute little ears and the bushy tail. Naruto well I am half fox demon, does that mean you have a crush on me? Bubbles got a sly grin on her face maybe, you will have to walk it and find out if you can as the other two laughed as Naruto mumbled something about Shikamaru being right about women being troublesome when Blossom spoke. Don't worry Naruto, when we return you to normal, you will be able to find a date, I just know you can. Naruto whatever woman. But the rescue team from Naruto's world. Shikamaru and the team were staring down Sasuke Chiha. Kiba what the hell are you here for? Sasuke -m. The dog breath wants to know something. Then learn to think, moron. Kiba how dare you, you know, he was unable to finish as Shino interrupted him. He obviously sensed something powerful and is trying to learn of it to obtain more power. Sasuke so the bug boy speaks, I actually never heard you speak before, now that I think about it. Sakura Sasuke. What is it you expect to find? Naruto everyone gasps. Kiba what makes you think he is here? Sasuke that power surge was demonic aura, and there is only one idiot I know of who would drag you all here. You know what do you mean demonic aura? Sasuko. You don't know. Takashi Sasuke. Sasuke the one you're trying to save is the Jinchuriki of the nine-tailed fox. Hinata what do you mean? Sasuke simple, 16 years ago, the fourth did not have the power needed to kill the Kaiubi, so he sealed him in an infant, an orphan by the name of Yuzumaki, Naruto everyone gasped as the adults, and Sakura all looked at Sasuke with anger for telling Naruto's secret to everyone. Hinata was furious as not even Sasuke saw her attack him, as he only noticed a palm strike to his chest as she said if you ever go near Naruto again, I'll kill you. Sasuke turned into a log as Hinata was left shocked as Sasuke grabbed her from behind, and you think you stand a chance against me. You know there may be no chance if you had Orochimaru to help, but without him you will not win against all of us. Bakashi so, that was you I sensed. Interesting, you're almost good enough to pass yourself off as Itachi, although, the most I ever sensed of him was at 30%, so I can't really size you two up. Sasuke looked pissed at Kakashi how dare you compare me to him. I should kill this bitch. Hinata by now was calmed down Sasuke, you were looking for Naruto to find more power, but what you failed to realize is he is your only connection to power. This shocked everyone as Sasuke was curious I'll bite, what do you mean? Hinata simple, his element is wind and yours is fire, so by sticking together he could have boosted your power above that of Itachi, and if you learned the shadow clone jutsu, you could have trained the same way Naruto has, and most likely mastered several techniques by now. Sasuke was tricked and he knew it, this bitch manipulated him into believing he needed Naruto, and she was right, he could use his element of wind to boost his fire element through the roof, if they learned powerful enough attacks of the elements, that in the fact that they were their natural elements, would also give them a boost. His trains of thought was interrupted by another person who wasn't in the team. Naruto is also Itachi and Kisum's target, your brother and his partner's job, is to obtain the Kaiubi container, so if you ever expect to be a step ahead of Itachi, then you will need the thing he wants. They all turned and saw Jiria, the legendary toad hermit, or pervy sage as Naruto calls him. Jiria besides, for any of us to find Naruto, we will need demonic energy which you have, and a very powerful attack. Sasuke released Hinata I am aware of that, and if my power is completely drained when I do it, and if there is something there that will eat me, I will be unable to defend myself, and that's where you all come in, I will perform a Chidori, then enter into stage 2 of my curse seal, and then with the surge of power mixing with normal chakra, hopefully I can rip a hole the same way Naruto did. Hopefully none of us end up in two pieces. Bakashi thought for a minute well we have the left side of Kakuzu, so if we all stand to the right then my plan should work. Jaoji what plan? Shikamaru simple, Jiria forms the Rasen Shuriken, and Sasuke injects it with his demonic chakra. Sasuke well, doing what the dope did may have a better success rate than me doing it my own way. We know how will we get back. 
Sasuke decided to shut them up, so he performed a Chidori now for my plan Sasuke then injected a whole shitload of evil chakra into the Chidori as it cackled as if in pain, and he thrusted it into the air forming a hole in the space-time continuum let's go. Sasuke was already having trouble standing from it as Hinata grabbed him and dragged him inside so she could get back if needed and Lee and Guy. Both lunged in yelling something about the power of youth will conquer all or something like that. As everyone took a second to sweat drop, Sakura noticed the rip was disappearing, and she bolted through it followed by Ino, but the other were left behind as the portal closed without them. Guria what just happened? Bakashi we wasted too much time, and now we don't have demonic chakra to activate the rift to get through, meaning it's up to Sakura, Ino, Hinata and Sasuke to bring Naruto back. Shikamaru hopefully, they can keep Sasuke from killing everything inside in that world, as well as Lee and Guy from corrupting another poor soul everyone nodded. Guria well, we need to report to Tsunade as they all nodded they left. They and I will no longer have to flop back and forth between the worlds due to the team that is now in the Powerpuff world. Lee and Guy were scouting the area for hostile targets as Ino and Sakura attended to Sasuke's newfound pain from his purpose injection of the evil chakra as Hinata decided to look for Naruto using her Byakugan. Naruto on the other hand had a strange gun pointed at him what is that thing? Etonium it is a simple beam that will remove the black light from you, that's all. As Professor Utonium charged a beam up he shot it at Naruto who looked surprised and in pain as he turned into a cloud of smoke and they all heard him yelling from the window, that thing nearly ripped me apart. You all lied, I knew I couldn't trust you, I can't trust anyone. As Naruto left the Powerpuff Girls chased after him and Utonium and Ken got to work to see what went wrong as the signal sounded and they informed the girls that Mojo Jojo was downtown and was causing trouble. Back to Sasuke. This is gonna be a pain in the ass Asu complained as he walked with Sakura, Ino and Hinata and he was finding it hard to breathe. Hinata the first thing we should do is find Lee and Guy and see what they found out they all left the forest as they came across the scene of two guys in green spandex having a conversation with what seemed to be a monkey in a purple curtain and a tall white hat about the power of youth and to make matters worse. He was going along with them while shouting about youth except he said mojo after every time he said it. And out of nowhere three teen females came into view and looked at the scene with fear as the taller one offered to train the monkey man in the powers of youth until. Powerpuff Girl Z Science, Love, Truth and Justice, Powerpuff Girl Z, shall protect the city from your underhanded tactics of wrongdoing. Bubbles and really bad fashion senses if possible. I the power of youth has shown forth within your speech. And I am crying you are in the prime of youth and taking full advantage. Lee Guy Sensei. We must work together in order to prove our youth is still strong, and we must not allow this evil to continue. Thy you are truly correct Lee. We must defeat the evil that threatens all. For the power, chance, love, truth, and justice that youth brings. They end this next line will pass back and forth to Lee and Guy. Lee. Guy Sensei. Lee. Guy Sensei. Lee. Guy Sensei. Next thing they knew they were on a beach and hugging. Lojo was crying tears of joy as everyone else was sweat dropping. Lojo now I need a hug. Buttercup what is wrong with them? Were they released from the loony bin too early? Sasuke I think they actually were beyond help so they gave up. Bubbles hello there, my name is Bubbles, and these are Blossom and Buttercup other to not as their name is said. Sasuke we have no time to deal with you, we must find our friend. Just then someone came down and lifted up the mojo bot with some red limbs, and as the robot was lifted far enough, everyone saw Naruto as he yelled you tried to kill me and launched the robot at the Powerpuff Girls and to have them and his friends dodge the giant metal pop can with legs as he called it. Hinata thrusted her hand forward and broke the machine in half, scaring everyone as she dashed towards Naruto, and as he noticed who she was, he was about to wave, but was jumped and strangled you bastard. I thought you were dead damn it. She shook him up a bit before grabbing him and not letting go as she buried her face in his chest and cried until Ino broke her from her thoughts. Now how do we get back? Sasuke we hope Naruto and me can reverse the whole warp whole shit and return us. Naruto you can't trust them three girls there, they tried to kill me. They all tensed up as Guy spoke that is so not youthful. How dare you try to harm the harmless Naruto of the hidden leaf, I might oh Guy, shall show no mercy to those who harm my allies. Liyash. We must protect the springtime of youth within Naruto, for it shines brightly within him. Naruto ever since fusing with the Kaiubi and becoming intelligent, I have found them quite ridiculous. Hinata you fused with the Kai Ubi. Naruto yup. Buttercup so who are the clowns who keep talking to Mojo about that youth junk? Lee became furious it is not junk. He launched into action and sent a kick at Buttercup which she voided, but not so easily, Buttercup still felt the pressure of the kick and figured if it hit she would have been in very much pain, do you see the power of youth? Buttercup looked surprised when Lee stepped back what? Lee that kick was filled with the power of youth and it wasn't at full power. 
Buttercup began to sweat as she pulled out a hammer. Sasuke and yet no one sees where she keeps that. How the hell was that easy to miss? I didn't even see it till she already pulled it out. Buttercup and Lee began to fight as Lee easily avoided all of Buttercup's attacks and hit her with a kick as she flew back on her butt. Lee there is no way to defeat the power of youth at its prime. Buttercup won a bet. She twirled around and sent a green shock wave at him which he barely dodged. Lee that was very impressive. Bye Lee. Take them off and show these people what the power of youth is like in full bloom. Lee ush. Lee happily backflipped and launched several whites into the air, only to have them create who knows how big of craters as they landed, and the Powerpuff Girl's face faulted in shock and horror at how fast he was with that much weight and feared how fast he was now. Buttercups recovered fast as she started to spin around Hurricane Lutz. Lee Leaf Hurricane. The attacks connected, but Buttercup was the one to fly, and she flew about 20 miles, and she almost landed on the ground with a painful thud, till Lee appeared and caught her out of thin air, and to her shock, he was acting like he planned it. Did you plan this? Lee of course not, I love Sakura, and her eternal blooming flower of youth, she'll always be the love for me. Buttercup nice, now let me go. Lee I'm sorry Lee let her go as she flew back to her team, and Lee went and got his whites back on. When Hinata looked around to ask Naruto something she didn't see him did anyone see where Naruto went. As they all shook their heads she activated her Byakugan and couldn't find him I can't see him with my Byakugan. Sasuke well, it seems we're back to square one. The rescue team's stomachs all growled as the Powerpuff Girls offered to allow them to come over for dinner, and they all went, but Mojo Jojo who ran away crying about his robot and wanted to fix it. Naruto was having a weird conversation with a group of weird individuals, and they were all. Green. Naruto looked at the five green guys as one was huge, and I mean huge in the stomach area, was sitting off to the side with a mini thing on its shoulder. As an ugly one with its tongue out was sitting on the other side of the table, with one that resembled a snake to the right of it, next to the one they all called leader who seemed like the bad boy type and would seem the closest one to being able to be called normal or cool for that matter. They end the fat one is tubby, the mini one is mini me, I'm gonna call the ugly one turd and the snake one slither, but I do know the leader's name is Ace, it's been a while since I watched the gang green gang, so I will use nicknames. Ace so do you see where I'm coming from? Naruto actually I do, when they used that gun on me it nearly ripped me in half, if it had been the real me it would have torn me in two, literally, and let me tell you, it hurts. Slither so, will you assist us? Naruto why not, you have told me enough info about them that they didn't tell me about them, and adding that with my current info, I already have then I guess they are the villains. Base correct Naruto, welcome to the gang. Naruto no, I am not gonna join your gang, and I refuse to stay here longer than necessary, so don't get any funny ideas about me spending my life here, so when do we put the plan into action? Ace whenever you're ready. Naruto how about now then? At the gang's nod Naruto got up and went to the area where they were to begin the plan. Meanwhile. Sakura so you three go around the entire place and stop monsters from destroying the place, and you also bring them back here to use that gun on them to return them to their normal form. Itonium correct, and before you ask about your friend Naruto, we don't know why the beam hurt him, we used it on the girls before, and they did revert back to normal. Sasuke I think I know as all eyes went to him he continued Naruto was hit by one of the black lights as you said, and he was fused with the Kaiubi which was sealed inside him, and now he is one with it, and is unable to return to normal, due to the fact that instead of turning into a monster as you put it, he became a half-demon. Etonium nice theory, it will be a huge problem if this is true though, his life might take a turn for the worse, he might be hated shunned and feared for something that wasn't his fault. By then that means there would be no difference, except now the council will be able to get enough info on him to force him into banishment. Another looked at Guy what do you mean? I that's why the adults all shun him, they blame him for what the Kaiubi has done and assume he is the Kaiubi, and now he looks like they are right, even though there are those who are smart enough to be able to tell the difference between a human and a demon, Naruto wants to prove above all else that even though the demon is in him, he is as much a human as any one of them. As they were talking the alarm sounded and the monitor showed the gang green gang were disrupting the peace near Blossom's favorite snack shop, the girls have secret identities, so they have yet to revert back to their counterparts due to the guests, so the Powerpuff girls zoomed out the window and onto the fight between them and the gang green gang. As the green gang went and shouted about the Powerpuff girls being cowards and chickens as the, the girls showed up. Blossom freeze. How about you shut up? The girls turned around and were face to face with nine tails grabbing them and throwing them into a building across the street, as all three were now in craters on the side of the building, as the ninja squad showed up. Hinata what are you doing Naruto? Naruto they tried to kill me, and they have attacked these innocent green guys just because they are green, then there is that talking monkey that guy and Lee were talking with, he was just a talking monkey, just because he can talk doesn't make him evil. Sakuriya but trying to take over the world does. 
Naruto these monsters as they put it, are just like me, judged by what they look like or what they had no say in. Anata please Naruto, come with us so we can go home. Naruto I cannot leave these girls to torment the lives of these people, just because they were hit by a black light. Sasuke these green guys have gotten into his head, there is only one way to get through to him, as Sasuke finished his words he formed into the second form of the cursed seal, with the giant hands on his back and a black cross on his face, as everyone there looked at him and almost freaked out and jumped out of their skin at the power that was flung back and forth as Sasuke and Naruto rushed. Each other and the ground beneath them began to crumble beneath them as the locked hands as Naruto also whipped his tails around and knocked Sasuke up into the air, then baited at him as he flew up further to avoid it, but Naruto rushed up th side of a nearby building and jumped over him baiting him down into the ground with all nine tails and left him in a crater in the ground that would have broke. At least half of a normal person's bones, but for Sasuke it just hurt like hell as he stood up and prepared a Chidori as it was black lightning and Naruto formed a Rasen Shuriken with just his right hand. And as he did this Sasuke jumped to implant the Chidori into him as he succeeded, but Naruto just hit him with the Rasen Shuriken and sent him back down with a giant hurricane following him, launching him further into the ground, leaving a giant hole as he landed safely on the ground next to the hole, and his wound healed, and he watched the hole with an evil grin. Ace this guy is on a whole different level than we are. Naruto turned and looked at the green gang and launched five tails at them and went for decapitation, but stopped when he saw Hinata charging at him, and he just grabbed her and jumped away with her screaming something about why Naruto decides to kidnap her when he shouldn't be thinking about it. Sakura did she want Naruto to kidnap her? You know I think so. Lee some people have all the luck to find love cries like crazy while looking at Sakura. Sasu crawls out of the hole back into his normal form as Sakura decides to help him. Sakura I don't think he wants to hold back anymore. Sasuke I think I got the message. I, Lee, and Ino look at the disappearing Naruto and Hinata as the Powerpuff Girls deal with the gang Green Gang and Sakura tries to help Sasuke. But Naruto and Hinata. Narutokin. Yes. Why did you grab me? I felt like making you my mate. Hinata turned redder than a tomato as she asked why would you want to make me your mate. Naruto looked at her with a real smile on his face as he talked you are the only person in my memories that did not run from me, you have never hurt me, and you gave me inspiration to battle Niji and get back up when he sealed my Tinketsus. Anada smiled as they stopped off at a warehouse, and he sat her in the middle of the room, where they were surrounded by random stuff and junk, when he took Hinata over to an area that looked like a fox made a den, and a nice comfy bed where Naruto got in it and pulled Hinata into it as they laid there, and Naruto went to sleep and pinned Hinata there with him using his tails as she turned redder and couldn't help but cuddle right back and hold her head against his chest and fall asleep with him. Narahina fluff. Yays. Now back to Sasuke. Sasuke was barely healed as he laid on the couch at the lab and rested while the night drew close, and the Powerpuff Girls said they were gonna go home and rest, and did so while Sakura and them slept at the lab. Ino looked thoughtful and she was thinking of Naruto, and how he was treated even by her, who only ran away cause her parents did, and why she did she didn't know, she saw nothing wrong with him, to her he was a normal little boy who was all alone and did nothing wrong, but now he tried to kill Sasuke, and probably would have too. But he is confused in a new world and is under the influence of the demon within. Sasuke was reflecting on the battle he had with Naruto and realized fighting him would be pointless unless he wished for death, he just stood there and took his strongest attack to the chest and still just slapped him back as if he just poked him with a rubber kunai. He was beaten down with a form of attack that leveled against the one he used against Kakuzu, and he could have done worse if it wasn't for Sasuke's wing hands protecting him from the attack, Sasuke would have been dead if he didn't enter the second stage right off the bat. Sakura was thinking about something else why did he kidnap Hinata? Why not her? Did he hate her now? Did he fall in love with Hinata? Why did he even run away? Why do I care? I and Lee were thinking about how youthful Naruto and Hinata's love was. As the gang green gang was thankful to be alive and were limping home to rest up. The Powerpuff Girls were all sleeping, hoping they could get their tests done without interruption tomorrow. Hinata was waking up from her nap on something soft and realized one of her dreams came true. Naruto swept her off her feet, literally. Hinata where am I though? Naruto you are at an abandoned warehouse, I do believe they have these in their world. Hinata was afraid he would become distant but had to ask. Did that really happen? You mean your fall? Yes. Naruto seemed to be blushing a bit as he looked at her body and then her face again, then turned away so she didn't see his blush match her past ones. What fall? Last I remember was you telling me you loved me then bringing me here and sleeping with your tails wrapped around me. Naruto being too surprised by that could only answer actually you started asking why I was kidnapping you, then you ended up slipping from my hands, and when they were covered in creme filling from what the green dudes called a donut they bought for me, which was very yummy, but when I caught you. 
Bob flashbacked bit. Naruto was jumping through town carrying Hinata while she was saying something about how she was confused until she felt herself slipping out of her crush's grasp, but as she was falling, she felt two strong hands grab her in two places where only the Naruto in her dreams grabbed her. His right hand had a strong and firm grip on her left breast as his left was on her left thigh but was gripping a bit too close to her private area than she could handle as she turned completely red as he held her there for a second longer before pulling them up with his tails that were wrapped around a pole that was about 15 floors from the ground as he himself was red. As Naruto was actually enjoying the feeling of where he grabbed and being as smart as he was now he actually had the decency to carry her bridal style all the way to a warehouse that he saw when he was meeting with the green guys. Bob flashed back and bit. With a large blush Hinata tried as hard as she could to change the subject which Naruto actually was grateful for what was that technique you used against Sasuke-san. It is still the race in Shuriken, but after I fused with Kaiubi, I managed to think of how I could use it without the loss of my arm, it made it a range attack, but lost some kick to it, although the M-E-L-E-C-U-L-A-R-S-P. Level damage is still possible, I still don't have to use hand signs to use it. Hinata was shocked about what she just heard, Naruto was so powerful and she was weak, whenever she actually wanted to tell him she was dreaming about them already married with kids or in a dream of them, that would give Pervy Sage an entire book for his Ichi Ichi series. Naruto well Atlas I know why I couldn't pry you off my tails when you slept, Hinata blushed deeply as Naruto gave her a foxy grin that was amplified by his blonde fox features. Why'd you tap it when you don't want to of it? Sasuke awoke when something started to make a very annoying sound must kill noise, thus with a quick slice, the offending device was in two pieces and turned back over to sleep more. Ken on the other hand who was bringing everyone a donut for breakfast was scared beyond belief as he looked at the alarm clock, the table, and the donuts that the boy just sliced in half, then at his shirt which was also sliced open but looked more like a jacket now, but he was afraid of what would have happened if he just took one more step. Sakura woke to the alarm as well, but what she saw pissed her off, she saw Sasuke attack a little boy with donuts, now she got mad, first she was jealous of something that she shouldn't be, then she has to watch the guy she was supposed to love attack a little kid for bringing breakfast. Oh hell no. Everyone else woke up to Sakura straddling Sasuke strangling him and a little boy backing away and looking scared, but it ended when Lee spoke. Sasuke must not be youthful enough to be able to appreciate the small things in life, such as love. I have anything. Somewhere in an old shack there was a monkey messing with some weird shit and mixing them in his toilet, but the most anyone could catch is what happened outside for the author cannot remember what he stole from the Powerpuff Girls, nor does it matter. It was a giant cloud of smoke, and then there were three boys causing mischief to the max, but every time they were chazzed, they always ran back to Mojo Jojo and claim him as their mother, which got him beaten up for who knew how many reasons, but then something happened they would never forget. They threw boogers at a blue-haired girl with pale eyes as she was talking to a blonde boy with fox features without thinking and then watch as the blonde set them all on fire and used wind somehow to send them back at them, calling out burning booger barrage, which ended up hitting Mojo Jojo. The monkey dude wasn't very pleased if you couldn't guess, but seeing as how it was the boy who tossed aside his giant robot like a used tissue, he could only beg for forgiveness and hope he didn't get killed, please forgive my sons, they were just born today and don't know any better. Naruto and Hinata were confused, who in their right mind would have kids with a monkey. Then leave him to care for them when he thinks they were just born when they were obviously at least the same age as the villains here and into the other day, as far as he sees they are amateur pranksters, so he, being the pro he was, decided to teach them. Well I can and to actually show I forgive them for their amateur pranks, I shall show them how it's done that got everyone's attention. Hinata do you think it is wise Narutokin? They were being mean to everyone. Naruto actually the only ones who appreciate a prank is the pranksters themselves. Naruto then walked over to a nearby building, and then the next thing they knew it was painted with all the colors someone could think of in a painting of Hinata and himself in each other's embrace with his tails wrapped around her as she was blushing, and he was smiling widely at her as they stood there frozen in time. As Hinata stared at the painting she noticed Naruto painted his hand to where it grabbed her ass, and she blushed as red as the painting which didn't go unnoticed by the others, but what happened next shocked the router of boys. Naruto do you like it Hinahem? As she stood there stock still trying to process the info he wrapped his arms around her as they looked just like the painting, ass grabbing and everything, the router of boys watched as the girl blushed more, then fainted as the guy picked her up with his tails and turned to them when you are able to get the same reaction out of a girl. Then I will teach you more on the ways of the fox, Naruto used his tails and his shadow clones, if you're wondering how he did it. ZXEVBNM with the Powerpuff and Sasuke and the Mukchitsa. Sasuke how could you Sasuke finally got Sakura off him and was now being bitched at, at least it was 3 inches the afternoon instead of in the morning, living in a cave and only sleeping when you're tired does mess with your sense of time a bit. 
Lee that was so unyouthful to do to little kink and the five people who were actually not guests were watching amused as Sasuke was owned by pink and green ranting wives as prof. Utonium put it. I on the other hand was supporting Lee so. Yeah. Ino was surprised that Sakura was ranting at Sasuke and then she had to stop this so things could go back to normal but was cut off as music was heard throughout the whole town. We're Tui up with the router of boys like Chiksa. They were getting a satellite dish set up as Naruto used his demon intellect to actually put the music all over the town and into the radio stations, as the ultimate prank as the boys put it. Naruto was somewhat impressed, they were organized, they were thinking, and they were actually succeeding, most of the time was the most important part, you ready for me to activate this thing yet? Yes the boys reply, I'm gonna call the reed one gorge the green dude I know is butch, and then the blue dude will be bob, but if you know the right names please tell me. And so Naruto flipped the switch and watched the boys started to sing the song they chose. Merry freaking Christmas, not mine. School's out, Christmas break. Home for the holidays meatloaf and fruitcake. Off to grandma's, so boring. Screaming kids and grandpa snoring. My aunt Margaret has lost her mind. Drip in on a train set have another box of wine. It's gonna be a merry, merry, merry freaking Christmas. I must be on Santa Claus's shit list. The tree, the gifts, the mistletoe kiss. Shoot me now I'm sick of all my relatives. Have a merry, merry, merry freaking Christmas. Uncle Richard, he's a weirdo. Assing out pictures of himself in a speedo. My cousin Ashley, her singing really sucks. Lames it on her drummer and their acid reflux. My brother's wife is really hot. She pulled me in the bathroom. I hope we don't get caught. It's gonna be a merry, merry, merry freaking Christmas. I must be on Santa Claus's shit list. The tree, the gifts, the mistletoe kiss. Shoot me now I'm sick of all my relatives. Have a merry, merry, merry freaking Christmas. We haven't even opened out presents yet. Now it's time to to start so I'll fake smile. Pause it's going back to Walmart. Knock 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 sweetie are you okay in there? Heavy breathing from a female. It's gonna be a merry, merry, merry freaking Christmas. I must be on Santa Claus's shit list. The tree, the gifts, the mistletoe kiss. Shoot me now I'm sick of all my relatives. Have a merry, merry, merry freaking Christmas. Merry freaking Christmas. Song end. Naruto was somehow sitting in a chair behind a desk crossing his arms that was so horrible the only was to put it remotely nicely as this, take 20 wet cats, throw them all in a sack, and drop that sack and listen to them, and you will have to then amplify that lousy noise an uncountable amount of times. Although considering this is a prank that was what we were aiming for after that Naruto and the boys high-fived and watched as everyone in the town was yelling and complaining while they watched them, they never noticed something behind them until it was too late. Cliffinger. Alright, I promised a preview of my idea, so here it is, tell me what you think. Xbjinks. We open to see a six-year-old and a sewer talking with a giant fox. Boy, I am becoming bored with the whole wimpy thing. What do you want me to do about it, I don't have the funds to get the stuff needed to use what you taught me. Why not get that Sasuke boy to assist you, everyone gives him everything. I figured I could do that, but how do I convince him without getting every council member on my case for harassing their precious Acha? Offer what they can't, power. Use my seals in order to give him powers. What if he tries to steal my alter ego seal? Then use you blood theft seal and then use it to get what you want and kill the Acha. That seal is too complex and to create it, I would have to drain him of blood for several years and then I would have to get more. Oh yeah, well then tell him that the alter ego seal is your bloodline. As far as I know not even Ajayasin knows I have those seals. If he did he would want the men more for all his little ninja armies. No he wouldn't, you're thinking Danzo. Well it matters not just deal with getting the Achiha on our side. Yeah yeah. Who are you three? Upon turning around they find out that not only the Powerpuff Girls caught them, but everyone from Naruto's world. Naruto what? We were just having a little fun, what's the big deal? Blossom you are disturbing the daily lives of the people who are here and would prefer to listen to actual music, not your lousy voices ruining a perfectly good song. I although wanting to show your youthfulness by singing is quite youthful. Liash. We must show our youthfulness by singing as well. I that is so youthful Lee. Everyone but Naruto and the Routeriff are actually scared, but upon looking at the fact that they already started made them sweat. Shiny teeth in me. When I'm feeling lonely. Sad as I can be. All by myself. An uncharted island. In an endless sea. Lee wasn't half bad, but you could tell he was a bit over-enthusiastic about it, although Guy was proud about his youthful student and his great song. What makes me happy? Fills me up with glee. Those bones in my jaw. That don't have a flaw. My shiny teeth in me. Everyone was surprised when Lee's teeth were able to shine with that sparkle with a song, as Guy shouted something about a youthful ping jutsu. My shiny teeth a twinkle. 
Dust like the stars in space. My shiny teeth that sparkle. Adding beauty to my face. My shiny teeth that glisten. Like a Christmas tree. You know they walk a mile. Dust to see me smile. Woo. My shiny teeth in me. Shiny teeth, shiny teeth. Yes they're all so perfect. So white and pearly. Brush gargle rinse. The couple breath mints. My shiny teeth in me. My shiny teeth so awesome. Dust like your favorite song. My shiny teeth I floss them. So they'll grow to be real strong. My shiny teeth I love them. And they all love me. Why should I talk to you? When I got their titwo. Woo. My shiny teeth in me. Shiny teeth, shiny teeth. My shiny teeth in me. Shiny teeth, shiny teeth. My shiny teeth that twinkle. Dust like the stars in space. My shiny teeth that sparkle. Adding beauty to my face. My shiny teeth that glisten. Like a Christmas tree. You know they walk a mile. Dust to see me smile. Woo. My shiny teeth in me. Shiny teeth, shiny teeth. My shiny teeth in me. Shiny teeth, shiny teeth. My shiny teeth in me. Shiny teeth, shiny teeth. And. I would a youthful song about your teeth Lee, where did you hear that song from anyways? Lee pointed to a machine that oddly enough Sakura was looking at and selected one from it and took the mic from Lee confusing everyone. Show me the meaning of being lonely. Show me the meaning. Of being lonely. So many words for the broken heart. It's hard to see in a crimson love. So hard to breathe. Walk with me, and maybe. Nights of light so soon become. Wild and free I could feel the sun. Your every wish will be done. They tell me. Show me the meaning of being lonely. Is this the feeling I need to walk with? Tell me why I can't be there where you are. There's something missing in my heart. Life goes on as it never ends. Eyes of stone observe the trends. They never say forever gaze upon me. Guilty roads to an endless love, endless love. There's no control. Are you with me now? Your every wish will be done. They tell me. Show me the meaning of being lonely. Is this the feeling I need to walk with? Tell me why. Tell me why I can't be there where you are. There's something in my heart. There's nowhere to run. I have no place to go. Surrender my heart, body, and soul. How can it be? You're asking me. To feel the things you never show. You are missing in my heart. Tell me why I can't be there where you are. Show me the meaning of being lonely. Is this the feeling I need to walk with? Tell me why I can't be there where you are. There's something missing in my heart. You are missing in my heart. Show me the meaning of being lonely. Is this the feeling I need to walk with? Tell me why I can't be there where you are. There's something missing in my heart. And. Some people were crying and others were wondering what she meant and the Powerpuff Girls were applauding her until they saw Naruto sitting at a desk clearing his throat. Naruto you know, you were on key, emotional, touching, and perfect throughout the whole song the router of boys were around him nodding their heads, but considering this was a prank, you did horribly wrong, by our standards, and Lee as he left Sakura to cry a bit about his insult compliment speech Lee, who was just as confused. Turned to him your singing was high pitched, and you chose a song that was annoying, and you oversang the lines Lee was waiting for him to call him a failure, so he could punish his unyouthful singing, you did a splendid job in this prank, you should be happy. Lee was overjoyed and started to cry Gasensai. He said I was great. My flames of youth allowed me to get Narutakin's approval. Gasensai Lee. Gasensai Lee Gasensai Lee. Gasensai. Pay the unbreakable horrible Jinjutsu which Naruto is broadcasting over the town. Random people ah. My eyes. What are those two doing? Is that man that boy's father? Wow what a hunky man, he even looks gay everyone looks at the guy, giving him their what the fuck looks what. It's rare to see those kind of pecs anywhere. Number dollar percent and plus back with Naruto and co plus and percent dollar number. Sakura what do you mean I did it poorly? Naruto pranks annoy people, they don't entertain anyone besides the one responsible stupid fangirl banshee. Blossom hey. That's not nice, you should treat a lady with proper manners. Naruto and when she proves to be a lady, I guess I won't have any problems with that. Sakura that's the last straw. Everyone looks to her you are gonna come willingly or not, and with or without your help, Sasuke is gonna open a portal back home, and whether or not you like it, you're coming with us. Naruto you are not in charge of me, bitchy banshee. That was the last straw, Sakura lunged at Naruto with everything she is worth, throwing a right punch, which got her nowhere when he just swatted her back with a tail, sadly breaking the karaoke machine. Sakura well what are you guys waiting for? Help me drag him back. But Sasuke being smart, he enters the second stage and lunges with Sakura, in which Naruto decided to grab Sakura's wrist and throw her at Sasuke, in which were Guy and Lee's turn to rush him, and they were fast enough to stay on him for a few seconds, until he used his tails to throw them at an oncoming Sasuke and Sakura. Sasuke this is getting old real quick. 
Sakura you think. I come Lee. We shall use the full extent of our youth. Yosh. I and Lee threw off their whites and rushed at speeds that were inhuman, forcing Naruto to work as he ducked and jumped random kicks from both them coming from all sides, using his tails to block when needed. 1,234,567,890 Meanwhile back at Naruto Universe 0987654321. Tsunade so have you found a way to follow them yet? Guria of course not, we won't be able to try without a source of evil chakra, other than that it's all about using that source to force itself into a Chidori or my Rasengan, and with my Rasengan, it would be very risky, so anything short of giving Kakashi a curse mark is pointless to even think about. Tsunade are you telling me, our hopes are on the shoulders of a bipolar overreacting hothead, a scared lovesick shy girl, a fashion crazed blonde, two overactive, hyped up youthful green psychos, and an emotional emo traitor, with family problems, to bring back the number one knuckle-headed, hyperactive stubborn idiot. The people that were watching the team go through the portal all just nodded as Tsunade looked at them skeptically. Hiba you also forgot to mention that they are who knows where dealing with who knows what with the unknown factor of the consequences of dealing with whoever is where they ended up, considering we don't know where they are, and the fact that the Akatsuki could also be there. Hiba was slapped by Tenten so he didn't make them more afraid than they already are. Iria let us look on the positive side, it will be quite for once. Everyone glared at the poor super pervert what? Tsunade you really don't have to be conscious at this point in time you know. Iria looked scared and rapidly nodded his head, while Tsunade just gave him the evil look. 9,087,654,321 back, to P-O-W-E-R-P-U-F-F 1,234,567,890. Bubbles how long do you think they can keep it up? The Kanoha Ninja have been throwing everything at Naruto for about an hour now, and they have yet to do any real damage. Brick well I don't know about you, but I found my new idol. Boomer and Butch agree fully with their red leader. Boomer is the blue dude, and Butch is the green dude of the boys. I looked it up. Boomer looks at the girls and pokes his brothers do they seem familiar. Butch I think they were going to spoil our fun. Naruto looks on as his used to be friends were all sprawled on the ground to tire to keep up with his enhanced form, and powers weak fools. Sakura the moment I get my hands on you. Naruto you'll what? Sasuke we are gonna show you the meaning of power. Everyone looked on as Sasuke and Sakura stood up to fight again, but all they got was a giant pink hand in Sasuke's face, as a pink monkey thing grabbed Sakura's hand, calling her a pretty lady, and telling her over and over again, of how pretty she was. You know, OMG. Naruto's old self transformed into something pink, hairy, and ugly. Blossom Fuzzy. What are you doing here? I thought your home was in the woods. Fuzzy pointed behind everyone and as they looked they just noticed they were right next to the woods that Fuzzy lived in Fuzzy heard notices and decided to come see what was going on, and Fuzzy found a new pretty woman I can get to love me. Bubbles was smiling well it is great that you are trying to find love again Fuzzy. Sakura hey. Do not encourage him to go after me. Bubbles sorry. Blossom where did the four troublemaking boys go? Dino broke down crying right then, and there I want to go home. I haven't changed from these clothes for about three days so far, I want to get a nice warm bath and get a new set of clothes. Bubbles we could show you to someone who could help with that. Eno really. All of a sudden Eno jumped and hugged Bubbles like she was a lifeline I will do whatever. Bubbles just go to the park later today. Eno alright and just like that Eno was no longer there, most likely waiting at the park. Buttercup great, now we gotta go shopping. Number dollar percent and plus later at the park plus and percent dollar number. Ino was waiting happily for her fashion savior to show when a blonde girl walked up to her. Hello, are you Ino? Bubbles told me to meet you here and told me of your terrible fashion disaster, and now we must save you from those horrible clothes, my name is Miyako, nice to meet you. Ino looked at the girl as she saw her simple button-up white shirt and blue plaid skirt with a blue tie and a cute white belt with a blue circle belt buckle like Bubbles Bubbles. Miyako looked surprised no, I just told you I'm her friend Miyako, hehe. <laughs> Then why do you have the same chakra signature as Bubbles? Both girls look to see Sasuke with his Sharingan eyes active my eyes see the same light within you as I did with those three girls, so the logical explanation is you are one of them, my eyes can foretell who you are and what you can do, don't challenge me. Just then two more girls came to the park in order to get to know the ninja better, one with a red bow in her hair, as well as a white shirt with red and pink stripes along her arm and a heart in the middle of her chest and blue shorts, the other wearing a pair of green shorts, yellow shirt with green trim, both wearing white belts. The one in red had a pinkish buckle like blossoms as the other had a green one like buttercup. Sakura how can they have secret identities if they wear so much that matches up with their alter egos? Hi hello young ladies, are you the ones we were supposed to meet? 
Sasuke began to get a twitch in his eye as he watched the males make fools of themselves and begins to think of how low the male race has become to fall for a pathetic trick like that, have we men become that stupid? Sakura and Ino give him a what do you think look as he sighs in shame and looks down almost ready to kill the two green clad ninja bastards, have to go and make me look stupid for following you, what worse is he is a junin, while Sasuke was a lowly genin. Ino was very happy with her new friend, even after having to call her by a different name, none of the Kanohanin cared, although Sakura did mention they should find and rescue Hinata and then get Naruto to calm down, although they were all shocked when they went to the mall. There standing in front of them was the boy in red from earlier, flirting with a girl that they have seen in the school every now and then. What's worse is she was letting him and was actually enjoying being flirted with. Earlier. Brick was looking around for a girl to flirt with like his sensei said to, and he even took his advice and found a girl that seemed lonely, she wore glasses and had brown hair that went to her mid-back and covered most of her face, he saw her with an older woman, and then she walked off and sat down on a bench and started to read with a frown. She wore a simple brown long sleeve shirt and blue jeans. Brick walked up to her and decided to be straight with her hey as she looked he went on my name is Brick and right now I have a teacher teaching me how to treat a lady, mind if I flirt with you? She looked at him for a second before realized he was asking her because she was alone and was sitting around just reading. Adding the fact that she didn't look all that good and has been laughed at and picked on for being too plain, she also has been picked on for having a small chest by a couple of girls who had large chests. But at least he was nice about asking and he didn't try to cover up he was gonna flirt with her. She giggles for a second before answering I guess I'm fine with it, my name is Mia. Rick wonderful name, mind telling me why you look so alone. Mia well my mother had to do some shopping and she said I could go hang with some friends so I didn't have to be bored or embarrassed while walking with her around and picking out things for at home, she keeps telling me I am pretty and that there are people who are my friends, I just have to find them. Brick well my teach tells me that if anyone is alone then you should give them company and maybe they will reward you by seeking you out to be with you when they get lonely, he says being alone is a curse that no one should have to deal with. So when I saw you here I decided to give you some company. As Brick was talking with Mia, some popular girls with large chests who have picked on Mia noticed and decided to have a little fun, this is also the time where the Kanoha group enters. Brick also teach says the best reason to flirt is not to try and get a girl to give you her number or anything, but to cheer her up, because girls like to be flirted with, but they hate it when the guy thinks he will be getting her to go home with him, for when you flirt with a girl, they see that they can be just as pretty as any other girl. For it's more about getting along with your chosen girl, rather than saying your girl is more beautiful than the other guy's girl. I and Lee were about to shout about how youthful Naruto was teaching the three boys to be, well the girls were starting to tear up from how thoughtful it was, Sasuke just assumed it was an excuse. Well how touching as everyone turned, they noticed that there were five girls that were wearing random colored clothes, but all seemed to be wearing something that showed their stomachs and was too high up on their legs to be deemed suitable, the average popular teen girl groupies, all with long beautiful silky smooth hair, probably not virgins either. Also I am not saying every big boob chick is a slut, or popular, or stupid, I am just saying that these ones are. Rick and who are you? I am Judy, and these are my friends, Cindy, Trixie, Linda, and Mindy, don't bother remembering these girls, I am never gonna use them again, and I just chose five names from the back of my head. Rick and you want what now? Beauty well I overheard your little speech, and I wanted to see if you were able to go on a date with me. Mia just thought that Brick was gonna actually leave her for them, like all the other guys who ignore her for them, just cause they have big boobs. Brick Teach also said that when a popular bitch sees a someone getting more attention than them they gather their slutty friends and cause trouble for the innocent girl who has done nothing to them, he also informed me, popular girls insult other girls to hide your own faults and flaunt your bodies around giving random guys their diseases, no, not all popular girls are like that. But they don't have to know, besides Naruto told it to him, and he is angry with Sakura who is also popular, and a bitch. The girls were looking at him in shock, the popular because he refused them, Mia cause he stayed with her, and Lee and Guy couldn't resist that is most youthful. He actually calls a lot of things most youthful, wonder why. Brick what are you looking at punks? The green clad youthful warriors were surprised. I we are the youthful and beautiful green beasts of Kanoha. And no matter where or how we shall always see to it that the youthful ways of the youth will always burn brightly with the passion and flames of youth, Guy was posing with Lee as he was shouting and creating a scene, no matter what the age, there is always the flames of youth burning in them, that flame will grow. And one day I hope to meet a person with flames as bright and brilliant as mine and my students' flames of youth, for we are the beautiful and youthful green beasts, and we shall not rest till we have met all the youthful warriors out there and brighten their flames of youth with our own. 
and hopefully we shall both one day meet the passionately youthful flames of youthful love in our youthful journey and be able to have many youthful children to pass our youthful ways to, and then they shall go on the same youthful quest as we did, and hopefully they shall be even more youthful than us throughout and hopefully they can bring out the youth in others as we have and shall continue on with our youthful ways, and shall youthfully brighten your flames of youth to the degree where they shall shine as bright as possible. And no matter what happens we shall thrive to the end and continue on our youthful journey and find hip and cool rivals as we shall attempt to bring them to the path of youthfulness, away from the evil unyouthful beings of this world, for the flames of youth shine brighter than any other flame you will ever see throughout the world, everyone was looking at the insane person with sweat drops. Ali had stars in his eyes, but the scary thing was, they could not look away, there is no mountain that can stop the youthful flames of youth, and there is no chance evil will ever take down the flames of youth, as the youthful flames of youth are within us all, and shall always remain there until they are unyouthfully extinguished by the unyouthful villains of the world. And when they come out to face our youthfulness, we shall be waiting to take them down and brighten the world with the youthfully pure youthful fires of youth and justice, shall reign in with the youthful flames of youth, as we spread our youthful ways to those who are willing to listen. And those who are willing to learn and we shall even provide the youthful green training spandex that I and my student wear right now, our flames of youth burn brighter and brighter with each passing day, and they shall never be extinguished, they shall continue to burn brighter. Becoming more powerful flames of youth, so we may serve and protect the youthful flames of youth throughout the world and unite all those youthful youths through our united flames of youth, and we shall teach all those that no matter the risks. It is always youthful to fight for that which is youthfully youthful, and anyone who has the flames of youth within themselves must train to brighten your youthful fires till they are so bright that they can melt the hearts of fair maidens everywhere they go. And youthfully sweep the youthful maiden of your youthful dreams off her youthful feet and show her how truly youthful you can be, while you both show how truly youthful you can be to the youthful world, and then you should have youthful children and tell them about the flames of youth and the youthfully youthful green beast who shared his youthful knowledge with you and then teach them the youthful ways of being youthfully youthful he was collecting quite the crowd, even Naruto and Hinata were there listening, Naruto just summing up what he was saying, knowing he just wanted to stay in the spotlight longer than necessary, and Hinata was wondering how he became a Junin, Sasuke, Sakura, and Ino were wondering the same thing. And the Powerpuff Girls went off to change into their alter egos, just in case the router of boys decided to pull any pranks, and they were actually hoping to make sure that the villains stayed in line, hoping beyond all reason that they didn't have to face Naruto no matter what happens. Their youthfully youthful flames of youth shall never be extinguished, as long as you believe in your youthful self and stay upon the path of youth and righteousness, remember the youthfully youthful words I speak today, for they are the most youthfully youthful speech you shall ever hear. Coming from the founder of the youthfully youthful flames of youth, and they shall hopefully leave their marks on your youthful souls, as they have left their mark on my youthful student and his youthfully youthful rival, Naruto Uzumaki. He shall always be that youthfully hyperactive, knucklehead, most youthfully surprising ninja of Konoha, and he shall always have a youthful place within our youthful hearts, as our youthful rival of youthful youth, for no matter what he looks like, he shall always remain with the same beautifully youthful flames of youth he has always had, your outer image may be different. But you can never change your beautiful youthfully youthful flames of youth, and I know that wherever you are, you are doing something youthfully youthful Gai-sensei. Lee. Gai-sensei. Lee. Gai-sensei. Lee. And as they shared a youthfully youthful manly embrace, they heard something terribly unyouthful. As everyone turned to look at what happened they all saw a man without his left arm, and Naruto was standing there with a left arm that was not his touch my Hinichin ever again, and I shall rip off more than just an arm. Everyone was shocked Lee voiced his what has made you do something so unyouthful Narutakan. He was groping my mate, I refuse to allow anyone touch her like that, and he has his first and only warning, don't touch her and live with just one arm, or touch her again and die. His choice everyone, even the Kanohanin were shocked, but Hinata just pulled Naruto away from him, and Naruto dropped his arm and left with her, Brick was feeling like he should go talk to him, but didn't think he would be able to do anything, considering he just went against what he himself just told him why would teach attack someone that severely for just grabbing Hinata. At the same time everyone else was thinking the same thing, until Sasuke spoke the idiot, he was trying to grab a woman when she was standing next to a Hanyu. Retard. Sakura what do you mean? Sasuke Naruto is a real half-demon, deal with it and help me convince him to return already, I just wanna get this over with as soon as possible, I really just prefer to have my true brother back he may not be my real brother, but he was the only one who truly acted like one to me. Elsewhere. A dude that was completely red used his powers to send a signal to the enormous amount of power he was sensing as he was trying to draw the source to him. Back to the mall. Hinata was found right outside the mall by the Kanohinin. Sakura where's Naruto? Hinata he told me to stay with you guys for now and that he was gonna check out a very powerful source of the same energy that hit him when he came here. 
Lee Narutakin is so youthful, he first defends Hinatasan's honor, then he decides to fight off the Avalon youthful forces of darkness. Now Sasuke snapped will you shut the fuck up about the damn flames of youth, you are driving me insane, how either of you ever made it past Genin is beyond me, and no matter how many times you say it, I highly doubt any woman in her right mind would ever date a guy woe's eyebrows look like they're alive. He was slapped by Sakura thank you, I needed that after that they walked back to the lab being joined by M-O-M-O-K-O red, M-I-Y-A-K-O blue, and K-A-O-R-U green, and considering they all knew who they were, they didn't try yo hide it, but Guy and Lee were surprised and fascinated about it, which annoyed Sasuke further. Naruto who is there? So you have come high squeaky voice that sounded feminine, but was coming from a red dude with lobster claws for hands. What? You going through puberty squeaky? The voice becomes angry as it's voice becomes dark and powerful, how dare you insult me. You don't seem all that scary to me, rock lobster. Then was baffled, he was dealing with a human with tails, and was talking to him like he was a mere insect I have a proposition for you, and back to the squeaky voice. I am willing to hear anyone out and judge them after I know them, so what is it you want to tell me? To begin with, they call me him, and I want to defeat the Powerpuff Girls for sealing me away so many years ago, they were cruel, it was so cold down there you know. I was freezing in this dark and cold place, all alone. Naruto closed his eyes, he knew how it felt to be alone, he hated it, and he didn't think anyone should have to deal with it, so he decided I am gonna confront the Powerpuff Girls, and when it's all over, they will learn from the so-called demons they have labeled without knowing them first. I shall make them regret ever labeling someone a demon as Naruto looked up the whites of his eyes were red, while his normal deep ocean blue eyes were ice cold. But Hinata. So why didn't you help him? Hinata was bringing up good arguments, Guy was being drilled on how Naruto was treated, maybe if you Juanins would have paid more attention then he would be able to understand what's going on, and we would be home by now. Hinata was just told about how Naruto was treated and everything from Guy, then she turned to glare at Sakura, how dare she act like Naruto's friend, she is the one who ignored his feelings and rejected him every chance she got, then beat on him for any reason possible, she deserves the traitor. Sasuke doesn't matter of the past, we all didn't understand what was going on with Naruto, and now we do he was shaken up by what happened to the blonde, but was now being glared at by three super chicks and a blue haired heiress, meaning his next words might neuter him, there was nothing we could do everyone noticed Sasuke was beginning to sweat. Anada and to get him to come back you all attack him. If we do manage to get back we might run right into the Akatsuki, what if that happened and we were all too weak to take them on? We would be killed, Naruto would be taken and killed when they got the Kaiubi, and they would rule the world. Lamoko how retarded are you guys? Yako pulled Hinata over to their little group to calm her before she tried to kill someone, so why don't you tell us your opinion on Naruto? Well, alright, Narutokan is a man of his word, he held back against Sasuke and took two Chidori attacks to the chest to get Sasuke back alive, because he promised Sakura he would bring him back for her, and even then she didn't really pay attention to him, but Naruto always gets back up to continues to fight no matter the odds. Yet he still tries his hardest to bring back Sasuke for Sakura, and now he wishes to stay here in order to do good and show people that it doesn't matter how you look, you can be good, but you three just see the fuzzy monkey man as a bad monkey, he just needs someone who understands him. I think. There was silence till Bubbles wanted to keep the actual girl talk up, so she asked more, so he inspired you to be more than you were. My father belittles me and talks down to me, and at the time the Jinison also belittled me, my father was harsh and drove me harder and harder every day, by trying to beat the Kata into me, he was cruel, but Naruto was beaten by the villagers every chance they got, but he never once shed a tear, he took it till they left. Then he just stood up and put that goofy smile back on his face like nothing ever happened, I even seen him do it, well he had a kunai sticking out of his chest, Hinata was crying hysterically now, and they had to do something, or else they would begin to cry, he even went to a training ground after a beating, and just went back to training, all without removing that smile. I never knew how he was able to do it, his strength was unmatched as far as I saw, then he even cheered me on, while my cousin beat and belittled me, without even trying, then while he had his chakra sealed off from him, he still stood back up to defeat Niji, because he promised he would win for me. Ino C, she makes him sound like a knight in radiant armor with a sad past, a girl's dream guy Hinata now paid attention to all the girls who were looking on dreamily. That is till the signal started going off and the little dog yells out Powerpuff C. And the three teens are covered in light as the ninja hear them yelling. Hyper Blossom. Rolling Bubbles. Powered Buttercup. And with that the red, blue and green teens flew out the window to where the trouble was, as they were followed by the nin, as the professor checked the screen oh no. It's. Him. But the doomed party. As the Powerpuff Girls made it to the park they froze, standing before them was probably the scariest obstacle there will ever be, Naruto and him standing side by side, glaring at them. Buttercup we are so screwed the others just nod. Hinata Narutakin. 
What are you doing? This person here was alone like I was, alone in the cold darkness, for who knows how long, I refuse to deal with the loneliness, so why should I leave someone else to deal with it? You are not alone everyone turned and looked at Sasuke no matter what anyone says, what I see is a demon the ninja and powerpuff girls looked shocked, but Hinata was getting mad, and I am not saying I see a fox demon this got confusion, the Kaiubi probably has reasons for attacking Kanoha, maybe it wanted a snack. Maybe it was forced. But you are trying to destroy three teen girls who are trying to keep villains from destroying everything, and for no reason at that, you are as bad as me, and I am no better than Itachi, you have allowed me to see through your eyes my brother, come home, and let us forget this all ever happened to say Naruto was shocked would be an understatement. Naruto turned to listen to him when he began speaking Naruto chose to aid the little guys with his powers, besides, he is evil now, and there is no way he can be accepted or loved now, he is one of us villains now, he has power almost as potent as mine, and I see no reason to think that you fools can imagine his pain. But those of us who are outcasts because you heroes are always putting us down and ruining our plans for happiness. Sasuke surprised everyone again by dragging the argument on the power one possess doesn't make you evil, it is the way the person with the power uses it, even the darkest of demons, can be a hero, isn't your dream to prove that. This is just one more obstacle for the greatest Hokage to ever be born, the strongest of us all, the bravest ninja since the fourth, strongest since the Sanin, and the best the village hidden in the leaves has ever seen, how could you throw away the happiness you so rightfully deserve? Just so you can be with these creatures that see you as a simple toy to use and hand off to the next. Come on dope, let us show this world what we can do. Naruto smiled and looked at him with his eyes normal once again, while getting ready for a fight him decided to go for it, to test Woe's darkness was stronger. Naruto rushed him while the red man just floated into the air to avoid and then watched, as Naruto jumped to meet him sending a fist towards his face, him not being one to go down without a fight, dispersed his dark aura into the plant life as he was sent to the ground, and so controlled the plants to attack Naruto, which he just roared a demonic roar, and watched as the vines were destroyed. While him growled at the blonde, Naruto, began to form the Rasen Shuriken, which was beginning to look like a hurricane with more focus, and all the ninja were scared when the orb split into five and went to the end of Naruto's fingers, and as they got to the tips, he threw them, and him flew away faster than he knew he could, and when he saw what the orbs did, he was glad. Where he was standing was now a giant crater, he was scared for the first time in his immortal life, he charged his dark aura into his claws, as he aimed at Naruto and launched, two strange orbs were flying at Naruto with great speeds, but they weren't fast enough, as they hit two strange hands, when they all looked the saw Sasuke in his second stage and Naruto with an evil smile. One thought summed it up, fuck me him didn't have time to land as he saw Sasuke doing hand signs, Sasuke launched a great fireball, while Naruto used the Rasen Shuriken blast in order to roast him, but they were surprised when they saw him enjoying the heat of the flames ah, so warm and cozy. And now, they were a little cautious, Sasuke and Naruto smirked, and Sasuke started more hand signs, this time from the fountain launched a water dragon, while Naruto repeated the damn wind jutsu from earlier on him, and him was doused in freezing cold water, but was shocked at what happened next, Sasuke and Naruto were doing hand signs with each other. Naruto was using his right hand while Sasuke used his left, but the ending was what really scared him and shocked the ninja, when the hand signs were done, a giant ice dragon appeared and launched at him, freezing him solid, while he dissipated and returned to his sealed state, as everyone could hear his girly voice screaming out about how cold it was. Lee that was so youthful. How did you use the ice element? Naruto the hand signs for the dragon jutsu are all the same, it just matters on the final sign and what element you use, with Sasuke using his sharing gun and swapping his element for water, like when he uses the Chidori, and me using my natural wind affinity, we just had to go by my photographic memory of the ice sign Haku used, and with me showing it to Sasuke. We were able to use the ice dragon, cause like Yamato said, you have to use one element in one hand, and the other element in the other hand, we were able to use the method easy enough. Sasuke and Kanoha has the last loyal Ichiha, and the number one, knuckle-headed, most surprising, and strongest ninja, back. Sakura ran and gave her dysfunctional team a hug, which they somewhat returned. Blossom I hate to burst your bubble, but how are you gonna head home? Naruto walked over to a shy blue-haired girl who was returning to her old self, since Naruto returned to the team, and grabbed her wrist pulling her into a passionate kiss, which she gladly returned, so what was that about being my mate? Thus don't leave me again, okay? With a nod, Naruto turned around and gathered his demonic chakra and sent all nine tails into the air as he ripped open a new portal. Good, I don't have to do it like last time after a quick chuckle and a goodbye to their new friends, they left to their homeworld. Back in the ninja universe. Soon aid we are not gonna mark any of them as missing an. Anzo then where are they? You were told if they did not come back today they were gonna be branded as missing an, and what do you expect to find now? They are either dead or lost, give up. 
As the council were arguing about the missing ninja who were in the other world a portal opened up and out, walked a nine-tailed blonde with the Hyuga heiress, then the Ichiha with the fifth Hokage's apprentice and the Yamanaka heir, followed by the two beautiful green beasts. Now the council jumped into action, with the elders grabbing their daughters, then root members pulling the others away, while other members surrounded Naruto if you attack him, it will be your last order, Danzo Tsunade knew who was the nine-tailed boy, but was shocked at what he said. You're welcome for bringing your precious Ichiha back, you also have him to thank for bringing me back, and with those words, the Ichiha attacked a root member holding him and stood next to his brother. Danzo was furious Asuk, what are you doing? I shall stand by my true brother, no matter what, if you do anything to him, I will call civil war against the council with this not being much of a threat, no one really actually took it seriously. Until Juria takes a look at the strength of the seal, I believe you should not be let out of our sight, Uzumaki Hiyashi surprised everyone Minato was my teammate, I trust his skills, I have seen them firsthand, but if you are the fox or the boy, we have no choice but to assume you are unsafe, till the seal is checked, Hinata was satisfied and just relaxed in her father's arms. And almost cried tears of joy until the civilian council spoke. What are you doing here demon? Tsunade glared at the councilman that spoke welcome back Naruto, I am sure you have a reasonable explanation as to why you are here. But of course Bachan, I got lost on the road of life the council got pissed off at this. We moved to have the boy executed and now the ninja they were pissed off, considering the ones against were Hiashi, the Inoshikacho trio, Shibi and Tsum, and those four was the Haruno to which Sakura was pissed at and tried to stop her mother, but was slapped and yelled at, then led by the five other civilian council members, then the three elders also voted for his execution which really pissed Tsunade off, but Naruto laughed. I knew it wouldn't last, bye Bachan. And with that Naruto bashed his out the door and down the hall where he ran into a group of Junin, so he decided to jump from the Hokage's window, but found Juria with a scroll, but was surprised when he stepped past him and sealed the door, and when he turned around he tossed him the scroll and left with a puff of smoke. Naruto knew they would break the seal, they had enough experience to do it and it would be just him stepping out of the tower till the entire village shouted for his death, damn him for taking them into the council chambers, I need to rest and restore the chakra I used so I can open another portal Naruto went to the window and opened it but was stopped by a yell. Uzumaki. If you run now, you will be hunted Naruto noticed there was a new seal on the door, so Danzo wanted to talk to him privately you know, I asked a Hokage to allow me to train you, you know what. He rufused my request Naruto gave him a questioning look this village is never gonna accept you now. The rookie 9 and guys team does, and I know Pervisage and Bachin do, then Thiris Shizun, and the people at Ichirikus, and the old man also cared. Then why keep secrets from you? Siratobi, Juri and Tsunade all know who your parents are this shock Naruto even Siratobi knew, and now he was becoming hurt, he trusted them like family they all knew, you are the only one who didn't, but I need your help, in this room there is a safe that only you can open, in it are scrolls that only you can open, they are blood seals. And very powerful ones made by the fourth himself, if you give me two of the scrolls, I will tell you where it is. Naruto simply said alright, and so Danzo pulled the fourth's picture down and revealed a safe with a handprint that seemed to be able to be twisted, Naruto released the seal on the door, then grabbed Danzo by the back of his cloak and tossed him into the oncoming fools who tried to enter, while well, he replaced the seal now charged with his demonic chakra. Then ripped the skin on his hand open and easily opened the safe as his hand healed up, then he went on ahead and opened the first scroll and read, and now he knew everything, and now he was pissed off, he had a heritage, the forbidden scroll was his, and they tried to exile him for looking at it. Now he was gonna have everything that was his, he walked into the scroll vault and took the scrolls and sealed them into the sealing scroll that Juria handed him, and he decided to give his godfather some visiting rites, but then he released a massive chakra burst before leaving through the window as he saw Hiyashi enter the room. Outside the door while Naruto explores the vault. Tsunade was pissed off what happened in there Danzo. I told him the truth of his life and he stabbed me in the back, I was supposed to stab him in the back, damn it. Everyone glared at him while Tsunade asked what did you tell him. About the lies you all fed him that's when they felt the same chakra they haven't sensed since the death of the fourth and he ashy was afraid, so he just sent a powerful Jaiwiken into the door and watched it shatter, then walked into the room looking for the boy so he could kill him and keep the demon from being released but couldn't find him but took note of the open safe in the wall what was in that safe. Tsunade knew what was in it, oh shit. There were four scrolls in that safe, two were written by the fourth and two were wrote by Kashina, they were to be given to Naruto when he was ready, but they explained that the fourth was his father and they also contained the Yadame's jutsu, all of them, Kashina also put her jutsu and kinjutsu into her scroll, as well as her personal sword. The ashy gulped and looked at Danzo you have doomed us all, you fucked hard Hinata looked at her father wide-eyed, he never swore wait a minute, the fourth son. 
When he got a nod he said something even more shocking, so Hinata's fiancé was alive, I thought he died with Kashina in the hospital. Hinata jumped out the window following the chakra signature she knew all too well follow that lovesick Hyuga. Tsunade couldn't stay serious while they were all gonna die could she? Damn her. Training Ground 7. Naruto was preparing to open another warp hole when he felt someone familiar to him come close, I hope you are ready to leave, Hinachan Hinata looked shocked. Hinata stay there. Hinata looked and saw her father with everyone else, Danzo with some root members, the whole rookie nine and says Nays, with team guy, with most if not all the Anbu black ops with the other ninja of the leaf including Aruka, and some were looking at Naruto with surprise, others with hate, but all with shock, when they saw he had the forbidden scroll on his back. Right above his nine tails. Aruka Naruto. What are you doing? Come on, return what you have stolen and we can get this all settled, and then we can celebrate your return with Raymond. Naruto who all knew about my father. Tsunade answered. No one but me. Jiria, Siratobi, and obviously Danzo, I know the Forbidden Scroll rightfully belongs to you, and there were even parts in there only you can open, but we were not allowed to show you till you were ready. Everyone was flabbergasted you lied to Naruto about something that important. He should have had everything I was given Sasuke shocked everyone by stepping forward and turning on them and getting into a fighting stance run Naruto, I will hold them off Naruto was shocked, but he smiled. Danzo the boy can leave, but he goes nowhere with the forbidden scrolls or with the jutsu scrolls of Minato, the yellow flash, or the jutsu scrolls of Kashina, the blood angel of Konoha, or the forbidden scroll, hand them over or we take them by force. Now all the ninja were pissed off, how dare the demon brat steal what rightfully belonged to the village, several of the ninja there even tried to buy the jutsu from the fourth, but he would never teach anyone, but Kakashi and Juriya the Rasengan, but he never gave anyone the secrets to the Harishin, he took that secret to the grave, and they all wanted it. But what happened next shocked them all, Kakashi Hataki stepped next to Sasuke and got ready to fight with him, then Juriya also joined them. I hope that scroll helped you out, with storing everything that is yours Gaki, Minato was always more of a son to me, and you were always more of my grandchild, I always wanted to be the best man at your wedding you know. But enough of the jokes, time to get serious, I stored a month's supply of Raymond in that scroll for you, as well as every issue to date of my Icha Icha series, and I even signed them all Kakashi looked at the storage scroll and almost cried, he would dream of a collection like that in his wet D-R-E-A-M-S scary thought, but shook it off, and decided to cry over it later. Tsunade as well as the rest of the rookie nine teams with their senseis and team guy came to stand next to them, as well as Anko and Ibiki, with Izumo and Katetsu, the same two who stopped the kids at the Chuanin exams from getting into the wrong room, then Aruka walked and stood by the group, then the original Inoshikachu trio, plus Hiyashi and Hanabi, then the Konohamaru core. With Yamato and Sai, with Sai tossing Naruto a little blue and orange art book. Take good care of it, friend then the other ninja who decided to go against the Yuzumaki, were all staring down some of the strongest ninja of the village. The Ashi Hinata, go and make sure Naruto doesn't get into any trouble, at least with him, I know you will be safe and cared for, and Naruto ripped open a portal and left with Hinata to a world unknown and alone, but what Naruto didn't expect was the fatigue going through two portals so soon after the other would cause and actually went unconscious during their trip to lands unknown. While holding Hinata close in his arms. Okay, I figured I would write up and replace the author note chapters at the end of my fictions. The first thing I feel I should mention here is that this chapter is fully an author note. I am just posting this at the end of my stories as a way to advertise myself. First, I will point out that these stories are non-profit. And I can't live off of non-profit, so I need a job to pay bills. Which means that I will have slow updates. I will write as I am inspired on whichever story I am inspired to write at that point. I have a Patreon, and if enough people were to join me there, I could make a living through this, which will allow me to focus full time on my stories, and my updates will come more rapidly. Until then though, I may be slow with updates. My Patreon is slash Suprema Bandit. There is no benefits that deal with the site for joining me over there. I will not be putting a paywall up for my content here. All posts I make there dealing with the fan fiction site will be public posts. I have no idea if doing that will allow you to comment on the posts or not, but if Patreon doesn't let you comment on a post, just come back here and PM me your comment, and I will respond as I get around to it. That being said, there will be benefits to joining. The first one that I was able to put together involves the Vidigam Pokemon Sword Shield. When I had money, I invested in a device called a Switchip. This device allows me to set my game up to breed and hatch Pokemon, which allows me to constantly use the Masuda method to get shiny Pokemon. I breed my Pokemon till I have one with all best stats. I use the modest and adamant natures, depending on the moves they learn. So the shiny Pokemon I get will have at least 5 best stats and either adamant or modest nature. I plan to allow people to ask me for my shiny Pokemon. 
I thought giveaways would be good, but after some thought, I figured it was a bit ridiculous of me. So, I am gonna post a list of every shiny I have available, and people can send me a PM to set up a time to make the trade. These shinies will be first come first serve, but it will be one shiny a month per patron. I am also open to any suggestions that you guys would like for me to do over there. I would like to do more to entice people to join, but I am coming up with blanks. If I can reach 100 patrons, I will be able to consider this as a full-time job and focus fully on my writing. I hope to be able to add the Pokemon from Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl here soon, but it costs $20 to purchase that update for the device. I am going to post a list of my patrons here, as sort of a credits deal, to give each of them a shoutout for giving me support. If your name is not on the list and you are a patron, it means I missed a fiction you just read when I updated the final chapters of my stories. The end. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember to subscribe and like this video. See you in the next video.